Hey guys, welcome to Knowledge Tip. So hey, one of the uh, fun things that we get to do today is with gardening comes uh, storing. So our cucumber plants did super well this year. And we've got just a couple. So we got the big block cl cleaned up and we're chopping away over here. And I gotta finish my breakfast. And uh, check out this zucchini. That is a three pound zucchini that we grew that we're gonna have to eat here pretty soon versus this normal size zucchini that grew on another plant. But yeah. So we made a ton of cucumber this year, and now we got to make a ton of pickles. So I think we have four different kinds of pickles we're doing today, right? Yes, the list is working. Yeah, oh. So we're doing some stewed tomatoes, jalapeno tomatoes, some kosher dill, some garlic dills, and some bread and butter. So we got a whole bunch of chocolate to do for me and Damien, and then a whole bunch of pickling. So here we go. All right, well. Got all the uh, cucumber cut, and Amy's about to do our jalapenos for the spicy pickles. Also, we all got our aprons on. I even got my apron on today. Look at us. But now we are uh, getting ready to start Sanitize. sanitizing Sorry. and salt bathing all the cucumbers to help them keep their crisp. Then I guess I got to run up to Dollar General and buy more jars because we don't have enough. Um, so, because this okay. is all the jars we have. Excuse me. We have, you know, our canning funnels and our pliers thingy, and I don't know what this thing is for. Right, Which one? This. Oh, it's for lids. For picking up lids. Never mind. It's got a magnet on it. <laughs> and then this is the reject pile. So this will all go to the chickens. This is all the overripe cucumbers. I mean, like so. zucchini and squash are over there. I just need, like, And this is the pupper. Oh, and the other pupper. But anyway, we're trucking right along with this, and I guess I'm going to go get some shoes on. Go to the store. Alright, well quick update, ran up to um, Dollar General, got a couple cans of jars, and arguably they're not badly priced, a dollar a jar, so it's not terrible, $12 for the 12 pack, and they actually had a bag of Burpee, which is the brand of seed we used this year, um, heirloom lettuce, speckled lettuce, something like that, uh, so I picked those up because I'm going to start some lettuce in my off-grid hydroponic system where I had the peppers um, and the new puppy got a hold of that and ate those so it's empty so I'm gonna get some seeds started and a couple milk jugs for some fall plants some herbs and uh, you know some more tomato carrots or not carrots but uh, lettuce and tomatoes for this winter also I had to pick up a uh, propane because our stove runs on you know just 20 pound propane bottle just like you have on your grill at home or whatever and so we had to go, I had to get another one of those because I put my backup on there. So I had to refill the backup because I had one. We normally get them refilled in town at our uh, hardware store where they fill it to the max instead of just to where whatever the weight is, they fill it all the way up. Get a much better deal, get a much longer life. I mean, days longer life out of the thing. So, and it's cheaper. Uh, but I had one that had a really crappy valve on it. It was very sticky, it was really hard to turn. So, went and swapped it out today and got one that's got a good valve on it. And then my other one that's empty, I'll go get refilled. Because ironically, we had two of them go dead or go empty in the last two days. But thankfully, we have four bottles, so it's not really a big deal. Eventually, we'll get a big bottle for the house and I'll be able to fill them myself and it won't matter anymore. But uh, for now, you know, we only have the stove that actually is on propane and then the water heater and the camper. Eventually, the other water heater will also be on propane and it will be run off the one behind the house so that's the goal but um they are sterilizing the jars we had and salt curing all of the cucumbers that we've cut so that the ideally you put sea salt on the cucumbers you let them dry out a little bit with that salt before you jar them and they'll hopefully keep their crisp a little bit better that's the goal so anyway i'm about to pull back up to the house so we're gonna go get back into it all right so we are uh, trucking right along here Somebody just sent me a message asking if I sell these. I assume they're talking about my pickles. I'm not really sure. But um, we have had to break into the jars because we still have a couple left to do. And I guess we're going to do some sweet dills as well. Because we've worked through almost everything that we're doing. The jalapenos going on the shelf over there. These are the kosher dill. Yep, kosher dills. Garlic dills. Um, and I think that yeah, right there is the bread and butter. So we got some jars over here sanitizing right now. We also have tomatoes, so I haven't mentioned that, but we are stewing our tomatoes that we grew 
to um, jar them as well. It's just a quick update, but we're trucking right along. It's almost lunchtime. I'm going to have some BLTs. Also, so just as an aside, I had some leftover lettuce from lunch from the BLTs and bring it out to the girls. But our three pullets are looking great back there. They're getting nice and big and uh, fitting in with the rest of the coop here. There's blue. So we got everybody moved into one coop except for Mr. Hawk here, our rooster. Um, because, well, if you look at the black chicken, for example, you can see how he pulled off all of her feathers. And then Coco back there has no feathers on her head. Oh, very hard to see. Sorry. Oh, you're a dusty girl, Kentucky. Um, but the four chicks are doing well in here with Mama. There's Mama. How are you, Express? And the babies are down here. Hiding out, staying out the sun. They're doing well. And then we had this young lady over here. She was sitting on some eggs but they didn't make uh, so we are breaking her brood by taking her eggs and just kind of making her hang out for a couple of days and that way she'll calm down a little bit and get ready to go back into the big coop with everybody else um, of those three chicks unfortunately two of them are roosters so they'll be getting processed at some point and um, because Hawk I don't imagine is going to be too excited about having two roosters in his coop with his girls so um, finish up with lunch and we are still just uh, sealing away. It just kind of takes a while because our pot will only hold about four jars comfortably. We did have one break earlier, so that was slowed us down a little bit. But I'll pick you guys back up when we finish. Mm -hmm. All right, well, here's our final product. We got um, hot and spicy with jalapeno. I think these were the dill. Kosher dill. These are kosher dills, sorry. These are dill garlic. And these are... Bread and butter. Oh. Those and then bread and butter. sweet dill. And sweet dill. And then we got some stewed tomatoes going. The tomatoes that we had finished out. So that took us a few hours to get through it all and one trip to the store. But uh, we're all done with that. So it was fun. And I'll let you know here in a couple of days how all those uh, pickles turned out. Till then, catch you next time.